Pickaxe Clay, Fire the Gun, and Joe Chopra. You watch a monkey news source. This is Monkey News Source with Tamara and Gordon. And now, Gordon Goodall. All right, all right. Welcome back to Monkey News Source. I'm Gordon Goodall. Thank you for joining us. Outstanding, outstanding. We're very excited to have you here. we got an amazing show lined up for you. And I'd like to welcome our home viewer and thank you once again for watching us here on White Plains Community Media Facilities, or as I like to call them, WPCMF, or WPCMF. I will keep saying that until someone thinks it's funny. So far, no take. <laughs> um, all right, so I want to introduce my best friend and co-host, Tamara, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. How's hey, it going? Tamara, I think it it's going? hilarious. That's I am your number one fan when it comes to that joke, Thanks. Gordon. That joke it's hilarious. has legs. <laughs> Wapakamafa. <laughs> Wap you know, you know who likes it? Who? Your kids think it's really. Oh funny. my kids. Wapakamafa. Of course they do. They think it's, it's almost like a curse word. How yeah. are you? It's code for something. I'm great. I am fabulous. Yeah. I am having a good day today. Yeah. It's great to see you as always. It's crazy, you know. We shoot one day a week. Yep. But then for the rest of the week, we kind of go our separate ways. Yeah. And so it's nice to see your face again. You know, it's nice to see you too. Beautiful what, what, blue eyes. Oh, thanks. This guy. Thanks for noticing. Yeah. Gordon, yes. how is the T, um, TDS oh, thing going you know, for you? Thanks for asking. I, I have you to say something. You seem a little bit better today. I uh, I took a little bit of some, I did some yoga. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm taking the 21 day meditation challenge. Oh, that's great. Sorry, my shirt stuck there. You okay, Gordon? Uh, yeah, and so I'm, I'm learning to you know breathe through it a little bit. Okay, good. But I will say my TDS, we talked about it a little bit last week. Yeah, last week. Which stands for Trump Derangement Syndrome, yep. which by the way, I'm pretty sure I totally have. It's been off the charts. So you know what? Yeah. The reason I'm so relaxed is because I know what's coming up next. And I'd like to share with you and our home viewers sure. that we're going to take a little break from the news this week. Yeah. It is Monkey News Source. It is Monkey News Source, but it's different kinds of news. Right. And we do love the news, but we're going to focus on more infotainment-y kind of news. Yeah. Lighten it know, up a little bit. Because we've got a great guest today who's, who's very it. active in the infotainment world, yes. so to speak. So, you know, yeah. we're going to take a break from all the crazy stories. But I will do a quick recap sure. because this week Manafort's going to trial. Right. That's a big story. Right. So they're, they're picking a jury. They're doing jury selection this week. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into that next week probably because it's going to be totally insane. I know it's going to be totally insane. insane. And then there's the Leslie Moonvest at CBS and his whole sex scandal. Right. And this whole Rudy Giuliani we'll thing is to totally that. crazy. We'll get to that. There's a lot of crazy and, news And Jeff going Sessions. On. He's got his religious liberty task force. Yes. And then Trump. <laughs> and this border wall thing is making me totally. Okay, Gordon, take a deep breath. No. I'm think good. of good, deep, amazing. Think of a flower blossoming. Mm, yeah. Think of like flower just blossoming. zen stuff. Take a deep breath. And think of bananas. Think of bananas. 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 Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for calming me of down. Course, because you know, it. It really, the TDS, yeah. it sneaks up on you. It does. It it's, really it's does. It's a disaster. So it's I want to thank you for being such a good friend. No problem. Of course. Whew, so we're going to take a break from the news. Take a break from the news. For my mental health yeah. and probably yours at home too, as well. Uh, but what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to do a lot of fun games and have a really great guest coming up. Yeah, and we're going to focus mostly on infotainment, like I said. So, you know, it's great. It's a great thing that you mentioned, but let's bring in our guest right now because he's agreed to be here for the entire show. Yes. We're very excited. Run the guest package! Mark Malkoff is a comedian and podcast host. He has been featured on the Today Show, Good Morning America, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, New York Times, and NPR. Mark achieved worldwide media attention in his web series, Mark Lives in Ikea, in which he lived and slept in an Ikea store in Paramus, New Jersey for an entire week. You can see Mark's videos and media appearances here at markmalkoff.com. Please welcome to Monkey News Source, Mark Malkoff. All right, Mark Malkoff, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey thank you. How's it going? You. Nice to see you. You nice look to good. See you. Hey, thanks. You've you been more, more. You've been using moisturizer. You know, we didn't <laughs> plan this, but you and I are wearing the same shirt. I, I, yeah, this is true. It's what, what happened cool. with you? I got blue in the middle here. Yeah, yeah. you know that looks good, good though. Mark, yeah. it's nice to I see like you. It. Also have nice very blue, you. enchanting eyes. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. Really, they're blue today. They, they. I think on my license it says hazel, but oh. they're blue now. Yeah, it's kind of hazily from my perspective. That looks. That looks like. Oh really? It looks. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, you look like a million. Bucks. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys are nice. And we're, back and we're really tomorrow. excited to have you on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thanks nice for to coming have you. out. Thanks for coming. And you know, yeah, you. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about Mark, which is impossible because he's everywhere. Yes. He's kind of an internet sensation. Can mm -hmm. I say that? Yes. If so. you would like. I you are a viral is. video kingpin. Sometimes. And you know, if, if you haven't checked it out after the show today, 
please go check out markmalkoff.com. But don't do it now, no, after, not the now. Show, after the show. Because somebody I know is doing it right now. And I, I, <laughs> Put your phone down. Pay attention to the show. Stop your multitasking. <laughs> Seriously. Jeez, you people. Don't upset can't Gordon. Even wait. Don't upset Gordon. Don't upset. Can't even wait. Yes. So look, so we're excited to have Mark here. Very excited. I'll, I'll tell you. Um, we're going to get to his big interview in just a little bit. Yeah. But uh, first, Tam, what's the what's the name of the game that we're playing so tonight? So we have a wonderful game we're going to play with Mark. It's called What's That? Are you ready to play a really cool game with us, Mark? And what are the rules of What's That? I'm not familiar. I don't know how to play it, but I'm ready. So here's the rules. We're going to show Mark a section of a picture. Kay. He's going to try to guess what it is, and and if he gets it right, then I ring the bell. I'm going to ring a bell. And I don't win anything. Yeah, no, <laughs> That's right. No, but no no, and then we're going to and we're going to reveal what it really is. If you okay. got it right or wrong. I'm I'm ready because he's he's got sharp skills. I'll also play because I've not seen these photos. Okay. All right, so here we go. So photo go. number First one. First photo number one. Here we go. Okay. Ah, what is that? So what do you think this is? Okay, so we have some it looks red. Like a flower, a butterfly. Um, I'm gonna say that, like a flower petal maybe. Okay, what do you think, Gordon? Like, I want to say it looks. Kind of, I'm gonna say like a lizard's leg. Okay. Well, let's reveal really what it is, guys. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. That was so close. Isn't he cute? It's an adorable dog. It's a dog wearing a butterfly, butterfly costume. Butterfly. Oh, my first instinct. Go with the first instinct. I said butterfly. <laughs> that would have been half credit, maybe. Half credit. I'll give you half credit for that. No, All right, so we're going to show the like next that. one. Let's, All right, next picture. Next clip. Ah, interesting. That looks like a GoPro to that me. That does look like a GoPro. Ah. I'm going to say GoPro on a bike helmet. Oh, interesting, Gordon. What do you think, uh, Mark? I was going to say a GoPro on maybe a Vagoda. <laughs> Is he still alive, by the way? No, but they had GoPros <laughs> when he was still alive, I'm pretty sure. And I would have paid a lot to see, a, I don't know, that's a project hilarious. with Abe Vigoda and GoPros. <laughs> I think that's what the world is waiting for. All right, let's for. see. Right, let's, let's reveal. Abe Vigoda for the steal! Oh! Oh! It is a dog. This dog could be named Abe Vigoda. <laughs> Maybe. So I'll give you half off. I'll give you half for they that look one. look a little bit. The eyes are about the same. It's so cute. That yeah. harness yeah. doesn't look like it fits that dog at all. <laughs> He does not look happy. All right, let's see. Photo number three. Number Close three. up. Here we go. What do you think this is? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have to be, like a, you go first, Mark. What do you think? A camel, maybe? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm saying like Donald Trump's hair. I'm going go, to go <laughs> I'm going to say Trump's hair. All right, what's the reveal? Oh! Oh, it's Trump's oh, hair! <laughs> oh, poor monkey. Oh, he's like looking... Uh, He's looking in there. It's very photogenic. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know how long we should stay on Okay, okay, next photo, next photo, next photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little insulting to my kind, people. It looks like a pickle to I'm gonna me. Say, it like looks a, like a pickle. A pickle sculpture, maybe? It's like a green bean. Oh, like a, what is that called? A zucchini? Zucchini. Yeah, maybe some sort of vegetable. Go zucchini. Sure. All right, let's see the reveal. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, oh, that yeah. was me in a different way. <laughs> Hang on, is that really you? Yes. That is me. I was I lost 16.8 pounds yeah. on this project. Let's cut back. Wait, okay, wait, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, for oh, starters, man. you look like a million bucks you for did. a reason. Oh, it was amazing. amazing. How long ago was that picture? I don't know. It was not yesterday because I, I looked in the mirror and I was horrified. <laughs> um, it was a while ago. It was a couple years ago and I wanted to see how long it would take a, a regular dude like myself to get six-pack abs, because all, all those men's magazines say get six-pack abs in 30 days, yeah. and I wanted to see what somebody would have to subject themselves to to get a six-pack. And yeah. how did that go? Like, yeah, what did you have to I get? had to eat 330 hard-boiled egg whites in a month. I'd eat 11 a day, and I- Wait a minute. No, yeah. No, no. Hang on, hang on. I had a personal, Logistically. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking a dozen eggs yes. every day. Wow. You had to hard boil. Eleven days, yeah, eleven. I had never had eggs before like that before. I've never. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if yeah. anyone has. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so, so how many eggs you ate a day? It was eleven a day. And oh, then what else were you? Eating? I, I could have steamed vegetables. I could have fruit every seven days. I could have, I think, a little steel cut oatmeal every seven days and water. And I'd have to wake up in the middle of the night to have some protein drink. And I just worked out with my personal trainer, Robert Brace. And um, yeah, I, I would dream about food at night yeah. because oh um, I would just like be on the subway, like staring at people eating food <laughs> that I wanted to eat. And then I, one one day I was dream one night I was dreaming about about e eating a cookie. And I was so disciplined, even in my dream, that I spit the cookie out. Like you tasted Aww, it, and then so you like spit it. Out. I got the six pack in twenty eight days. Really? That's yeah. That's incredible. And then I lost it. Um, I went to um, how quick? Where's the cupcake place that I used? The, the good cupcake place. Crumbs. Oh, 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 oh. I, um, I, I, ate, like, I ate three yeah. of them Magnolia the next Bacon. day. <laughs> 
and then the next day I had more, and by I don't know, by five days later I did not have a six pack. Oh, really, yeah. that quick? I would, no. I would have done the exact same. That's yeah. incredible. Did yeah. you document that as part of as part of your challenges that you do online? I it's somewhere. I did. I actually had to do the project three separate times. Oh Once, my god! I had to do it as a I did it as a vegan, and that's when we went on Good Morning America, and then oh, yeah. and then I had to do it one other time. So. Um, well, where did you get your like the regiment, like the whole like a diet and like? All my of friend this? Robert Brace is a personal oh, trainer. Yeah? He was the guy. He knew what he was doing. And uh, he said, hey, Mark, I can get you the six pack, but at a price, which is your happiness. Oh. <laughs> right, seriously, now that was my question. Did you have Aww. a lot of energy? Or I had so much energy. Time? I had so much energy, and I also had a lot of gas. I yeah, eat eating eggs. Yeah. And I, I was just like uh, just in a bad mood because I couldn't eat anything. So my wife, Christine, I know you're watching. I love you. <laughs> Still doing damage control a bunch of years later. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was uh, pretty crazy to watch myself. It just did not seem natural yeah. having the six pack. Well, um, uh, well, yeah. now, now that now we're into it, I, I want to know more about the stuff that you do because oh sure, yeah. I've watched a ton of your videos. Oh. Obviously, I always have. You Thank know, you, Gordon. Ever since we met, but yeah. um, you know, uh, amongst them, there's some totally insane things that you've done. Mm -hmm. And I guess my my I guess my big question is, are you thinking these up yourself, or is someone saying, "Hey, I know you do crazy things. Come <laughs> do a crazy thing for us." kind of deal like at this point is sure. it are you doing commissions like how's it not commissions like money wise i mean like i've done sponsors videos but 95 percent of the time that they're my ideas it's just a curiosity mm -hmm. thing it's one of those things where i'll get an idea can i pull this off like it's just the curiosity like, how many starbucks are there in manhattan and all the starbucks people they gave me different answers and i count i had to do my own counting which was 171 wow. once i found a 171 it was like could a dude go to every single store in a day in Manhattan in 24 hours, make a purchase and consume something? And then everyone was like, it's impossible. Wait, yeah. but Which, you did it. You did do it. I did it, but it took me a month of, of training and planning. And I tried it with a car and it didn't work. So that's when I had to be on a, on a bicycle. And I was up for 27 hours. It took me over 23 hours. I had to go to a store every seven minutes for oh, 23 hours state. And I almost what? died. Oh, my how God. Much, how did you almost oh, die? Uh, because you drank how did you almost die? Um, it was a hot July day. Oh, July. And we were on bikes. And I didn't drink coffee coffee at that time so we were all oh. caffeinated up and after 12 hours I couldn't ride a bike anymore because my motor skills were gone oh. I couldn't walk in a straight line so my friend Jill came in with a car and the traffic was was, was a lot better and they kind of threw me into the remaining locations my I shouldn't I, my crew got sick I mean my, my crew I mean when I lived wow. on the airplane my crew got sick I mean I, it's very physical yeah. project yeah, and intense. I was in pain for days I should add I was in pain for days and I was so out of it with the with the caffeine yeah. hot July day that I went I, I, I looked at the receipts and I didn't have 171 the next day I had 176 and that's when I realized what? I was so out of it I'd gotten in the same store five oh so my wait, okay, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh so my let's review gosh. so you, you, you went to 171 <laughs> Starbucks locations yes in 23 hours and you had a full cup or no just like a sip I would not be out. here Gordon I, I it was a purchase at every store, so a lot of it was coffee. Occasionally, it could be water or biscotti. You know, I was say, maybe you should drink some water in between. Yeah, a little bit, but it was a hot July day, and I was oh. out of it. And I, yeah, I don't remember some of it. And it, it um, yeah, it was definitely one of those things where uh, I, I, I pitched to my wife that I should try to do this again to, to beat my record, and she has yeah. veto power. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she vetoed the idea I was going to ship myself overseas legally. I found a way, and she vetoed that, and I was upset Wait, with no, her. No, no, no. I was upset with her oh. for like for, for about five hours till I realized she was right again, Christine. Yeah. Because you could, you could potentially well, die in well, something. Yes. Like, she's looking out for She's you. the voice she's, of reason. She's, she loves you. Yes, she's she the does because she didn't like me. Yeah. She goes, Mark, yes. Go for it. Ship yourself to see. Why no. don't you do it today? <laughs> now, Bye, Mark. Now, now, what did I not see in the Ikea thing? Because oh, yeah. So let's, I watched let's the set video. it up. Oh. So, 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 so Tamara, Mark, you set it up, Tamara. You, you have the yeah. details. Well, no, right I mean, there, right? yeah, I have the details somewhere sure. in here. But I know I know you visited, you lived in Ikea. For a week. For something Ikea for a week in Paramus, New Jersey for an entire week. I pitched it to them. It took me two months of polite pursuit. Persistence. Polite persistence yeah. with enthusiasm, amazing things can happen. Exactly. And they they said, you want to do what? <laughs> Wait, so you took it all the way up the line to like Bob Shugan Fibor. I did. <laughs> How do you like, know Bob? He was like, oh, Bob? You I buy all my furniture. Like, yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Naturally. I still can't pronounce the furniture names and I still can't assemble their furniture. But um, I talked them into it. That's amazing. I moved into Ikea, nicer than my New York City apartment. I got my bedroom set. And I was rollerblading with security guards at three in the morning. That is fun. I could eat whatever I wanted. So you know you have the. Wait, wait. What's there to eat? There, sweetest meatballs and what else? They made me tofu meatballs because I've been a vegetarian since I was twelve. Oh my god. They have awesome. desserts. They have uh, vegetables. 
Um, and then they have like chips and cookies on yeah. the. So I, I could basically the lights in IKEA go out at midnight, and then I had my flashlight, and I could eat what I wanted. Were you scared? That sounds really scary. <laughs> it's like, come on. I mean, you have other people with you. With like the Christine film stayed crew. stayed with me one night. Jarvis, the security guard, was always there if I needed him to read me a bedtime story. And then the guys, <laughs> um, I had people in the back room that were editing okay. pretty much twenty four seven. Okay. But um, it was really weird yeah. at, at, with with no lights, and you need because it's pitch black. You need the flashlight, and then right. at five a.m. the lights come on, and I'm trying to sleep. And then the guys are uh, the, the people are building this the uh, the, 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 the set, furniture set. Yeah. So not a lot of sleep. But um, after a couple of days, it was um, people were driving hours to meet the guy that was living in the store. So I'd wake oh, up, really? I'd wake up from a nap, and there'd be like twenty people staring at me, like I was in an animal in a zoo. And you were just like, hi. Y yeah. It was and you're in your pajamas <laughs> or whatever. It was strange. And then Lisa That's Loeb strange. came the final day and played a um, in my bedroom unit. She played um, Wait, like a mini concert. Was that just random? Wow. I just really wanted to get a musician to play IKEA in my bedroom, and I reached out to a couple people and. Uh, she had an album coming out, and like I, I, yeah, she was fun. She, and then when I lived on the airplane, she came on the airplane and played for me too. Wow, I did that's some songs. insane! Yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. yeah. So, do you have any more big challenges like that planned? Yeah, currently? I'm always trying to do them, but they're really, really hard to pull off. Like, right. I'm trying to think like what I've been trying to. I was talking to, to um, a base, major league baseball team for four or five years because some of them take years to pull off. Yeah. So I was very close with major league baseball. Maybe it'll still happen eventually. To um, do what with them? I'll tell you afterwards. Uh, <laughs> secret, top, top secret. Top, top secret. Top secret. You heard it here first, folks. But, um, yeah, we'll but yeah. find out. We'll find out. But That's um, crazy. They're always fun. Like celebrity sleepovers was fun because there, were, there didn't, wasn't pain involved. Yeah, I saw a lot that of those. Was those fun. were so great. Yeah. Like, you get who, to sleep who did you have on the celebrity sleepover? I, I went to LA and I didn't want to spend thousands on hotels, so I asked famous people, "Can I sleep over?" And most of them I didn't. I never met. So Dave Coulier, the, the first time I ever met him was on camera. I slept over at his uh, Uncle Joey. He's great. Um, <laughs> who else did I stay up? Phil Rosenthal created Everybody Loves Raymond. Mm -hmm. so I did a celebrity nap with Steven Weber, Mary Lynn Rice Cobb, um, Kate Walsh. I did a celebrity nap. Uh, Ed Bagley Jr. I stayed over at his in his man cave. That's so That's funny. That's crazy. Was it a cool cave? It was very cool. And his dad's an Oscar, oh. Ed Bagley's Oscar. So, um, yeah, that was fun. Cameron Mannheim, I slept over at her place holding her Golden Globe from That's the practice. Crazy. That is amazing. I don't Wait, know. Who was your most favorite, was your most favorite uh, celebrity staying over? I think because I was obsessed with Family Ties, I'm sleeping over at Justine Bateman's home, oh, and yeah. we slow dance. Um, she, Lisa Loeb wrote a song called Middle School Mark about my crush on, on Mallory Keaton, and we slow danced to the song. And I wow. sit over and um, you're like living every childhood like yeah, that's crazy. And, and oh yeah, it was <laughs> nice. It was nice that I got to do that. It was kind of crazy, but people were very nice. I just like to ask. Power of asking. Of course, power of so, asking. Okay, so okay, sure. so fine. So okay, yes, let's just say. Yeah. Let's just say I'm like this will never happen. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, Maybe power, power of asking. Of asking. Power yeah. of asking. If I want to, if I want to have a sleepover with let's just say Tom Cruise, yeah. right? And I'm like, hey Tom, I got a TV show. You're famous, I'm famous, yeah. you know, uh -huh. infamous, I'm infamous. <laughs> How do I get to him? Do How I do go to get... the Church of Scientology and I ask somebody at the front desk? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not who do I ask? sure with Tom Cruise. I'm not, I'm, I'm not well, sure. Like when you got Michael J. Fox on your podcast. I wrote him a letter. That was it. And I was an intern on Spin City, which I'm sure helped. Yeah. I was right. an intern an on Spin. Thing. And I knew he would want to talk about Carson because he, I knew he had a cue card framed that Johnny had signed and that he got out of an NBC dumpster before he was famous. Oh, in an audition. And I knew that his dad was on, in the audience on, on, on the show. Uh -huh. They had him for one of the segments. So I, I was confident he would want to probably talk about Carson and the fact that I was an intern and then I was hired on the show when I was 22 would help. So I wrote him a letter. I put the stamp on the letter. And I put it in, yeah, and I was I was as surprised school, as you were. Right? Very old school. Yeah, yeah. But, but like hey, with the with the works. Carson podcast, yes. you've had so many huge people on. Yeah. People have been extremely nice. Is yeah. it just like how did you get Tom Brokaw? You just call him. I emailed his assistant. I, I found out whose assistant was, and I emailed, and I had to follow up. It took me two years, and then the only reason I got Mel Brooks, who's impossible, who says no to everything, is because Carl Reiner told him that he should do it because I was trying to get Mel Brooks and they have dinner every night on Monday through Friday they watch Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy in Carl Reiner's apartment so I was with, in, his, in his house so I was with Carl Reiner and I was like what's your advice for Mel Brooks just joking and then he told Mel you, you need to do That's this crazy. That people so, have been nice it's so great. and I try to I try to pay it forward of well course. you're a very nice guy I mean Sometimes. I would never say no yeah, yeah. I, I mean you're Having, very polite you know, and you're asking I'm trying and it's wait like... did you get to watch Wheel of Fortune with those two guys <laughs> no but I interviewed Vanna White at the Sony because she went on Carson twice so I did and I and Pat Zajac was on the podcast because he had a late night show uh -huh. um, and he he knew Johnny a little bit he went on the show and Vanna White um, went on so I was with her so I was on the Wheel of Fortune set earlier I was earlier this year I guess That's so and, and yeah. why why Carson 
What, oh, like what's what's the impetus for the podcast in the first place? Because I, I I've heard I've listened to the podcast. Yeah. I hear everyone else's stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But why? What was the, what was the first reason I for you? I think doing I'm it? obsessed with my childhood and my dad when I was like five or six would let me stay up and watch Carson sometimes on Friday nights mm-hmm. and it was this ma- like magical world where I didn't really get a lot of the politics and the monologue but more of the desk pieces the broad things and it was just like being led into a, I think a lot of guests have said it almost a party and it was one of those things like who is holding the curtain open what's going on backstage yeah. and there were all these questions and he he retired on the top of his game when he was when um, in '92 and it was so many questions he was such a private guy mm-hmm. that um, Peter Jones did a documentary on, on PBS about Carson I had so many more uh, questions and I got together with Peter Jones in California he's like Mark you have to do this because I told him I wanted to do a podcast and the next day uh, I was like Peter thank you so much I'm, I'm gonna do this I was like who, who should I have on the podcast and he's like do you want Carl Reiner's home phone number I said mm. okay he's like do you want Doc Severinsen's cell phone number I said okay so it's Amazing. like everything just started to like oh my gosh. open up Peter Jones has um, changed everything for me at, at, at this gosh. point yeah. with the podcast who's the big get that you haven't gotten yet that you've been working on oh. or that you haven't even approached them yet like who's the big obviously Carson, I have a bunch of them but I would right. say um, definitely Doc Severinsen Bette Midler uh, Dave Letterman would be great um, I think those are some of the some of the ones that come that stand out uh, Burt Reynolds um, Angie Dickinson would be fantastic I've emailed with Angie Dickinson oh. um, is it just Angie so Dickinson many. at gmail.com? <laughs> it's not, but I'll show you after. Some of them are. Are like that, that, right? But you know what? There's so many um, people like Jason Bateman was just on Jimmy Kimmel talking yeah. about when he went on for the first time. He went on like four times. And um, like people like Woody Harrelson would go on in his pajamas. Like It's incredible to uh, to see who in their career went on that. But it's like such a huge deal. Like Tom Hanks in interviews will always talk about Johnny. So Tom okay. Hanks is another guy okay, I've been trying yeah, to get for a couple yeah. of years. So. We shall see. Yeah, put it All out there. To, you yes. Put it out there. You never All know. All you need to do to get Tom Hanks yeah. is give him a vintage typewriter. Oh, yes, that's Hank. That's, that what, Chris, yeah, that's what Chris Hardwick did. Oh, yeah? And, uh, this is my hint. If you want Dr. Ruth, I, ca- I just called her up on the white pages, and she answered, hello? No way. No yeah. way. Oh, and well, I knew I had about, much. I knew I had, like, 10 seconds that's to seal amazing. the deal. So I was at a concert with her backstage in Westbury, a, t- a Tony Bennett concert. And I just like, you know, Dr. Ruth, we were together backstage at a Tony Bennett concert in, in Westbury. And, you know, I'm doing this project about Johnny Carson. You were on Johnny Carson. Yeah. Would you be a guest? Uh-huh. And then she's like, trying to get out of it because she's like, you know, I'm very busy teaching at yeah. Columbia. I'm like, a lot of people listen. Would you promote my Twitter? Yes, yes. I would. <laughs> no way. That's Done. crazy. Amazing. Yes. That's perfect. How old is Dr. Ruth? She's getting, in her she's 80s. Up there. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. And, like within a week, I'm at her apartment by the, the up by the cloisters. By uh, oh wow. Bizarre. My wife was there, and we're hanging with Dr. Ruth. That's amazing. She's got a nice place, know. right? Uh, it was oh, nice. Really. It was very Pretty nice. Classy. I should, should do a celebrity sleep over there. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that would be interesting. Have you ever had an interview go so terribly wrong that someone like walked out? Yeah, what was out? the worst interview that you've ever I had? I had um, two. Uh, one that was very hard. It was a famous movie star. I'll tell you afterwards who it was. But it was, I forgot. I He didn't know what it was about Carson because I really thought that he would know. It never had happened. Um, so I'll tell you guys afterwards who, who it would be. And uh, But yeah, if some, usually like they go really well. But yeah. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. and if you guys haven't listened to it, don't do it now. Don't put it down. <laughs> no. The phone. Carson Podcast. Carson Podcast. After the show. After the show. Yes, please. After the show, you can listen to it. You That's right. And after this. you eat dinner or lunch or whatever your meal is, and you eat a nutritious meal. Yeah, you have nice I, I listen energy. to it in the car. After and you have eleven hard-boiled eggs. And make sure your nails, no cuticle, your cuticles are taken care of. Yeah. Why? Then, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, why? why exactly? I, 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 somebody, when I was working, I had a day job. <laughs> I've never cleaned my cuticles ever, but right. I, I just, I don't know. I, 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 had, a, I had a person who was obsessed. I had a TV job that was obsessed with cuticles, and they would come to me every week, and I'd be doing work, and they would just take my hand. No and they made me bleed, actually, once what? or twice, and they would clean my cuticles. Well, it must feel good, though, when you feel refreshed. Yeah, besides the blood. Besides the blood. Look, Cameron and I are both my... looking at our cuticles, being like, yeah. no, no, I think we're all right. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. I don't really think about it until... She was obsessed. And then I had another day job at a TV show where a woman would come up to me and just start cutting my my Andy Rooney <laughs> eyebrows. Jeez. And I got so paranoid that now I do the no, trimming. Yeah? But they were a little Andy Rooney for okay. a while. And she would just show up. So I had one person on the show that would do the cuticles, another one that would... Um, yeah, they would take that, care of the eyebrows. Just think like, hey, that's rude. I, I look good. This is me. This is, I was born this way. I trusted her her sensibility. Okay. They said, you're not looking good, Mark. <laughs> um, I was born that way, but sometimes people know better. I and, guess. Um, I yeah. guess. I guess. And so. it was, it was uh, yeah, definitely. Wow, cuticles and eyebrows. 
<laughs> now, now we're now learning so much him. more now than I ever anticipated. <laughs> so, guys, we got a lot more show to go, and we, we're really excited. Tam, what, what's the next? Well, thing actually, we're doing? not a lot more show. We just have like one more segment. Oh, one more segment. But this left. is a cool segment because we're, we're introducing a new character, character, our friend, our friend, not just a character, a friend. A new friend of ours is stopping by. We're doing a speed interview. Are you ready for a speed interview, Mark? Oh, absolutely. All That's right. right. So this is time for the ultimate test. Okay. Yes. Get ready for tonight's sixty-second speed interview challenge with our special speed challenge host. Speedy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're going to do our speed interview with Mark Malkoff, and all we need to do and get started is Speedy. Hey, Speedy. Hey, that's me. I'm oh, Speedy. Uh, uh, I'm here. Uh, uh. Hi, What's Speedy. up? Hey, Mark. Hey. You ready to play speed interview? Oh, yeah. yes. I hear you're pretty quick, but it got to be really quick for me. Are you ready for the clock, camera? I'm ready for the clock. And you got your bell? I got my bell. Let me hear it. Well, let me set it up, Speedy. Check this out. It sounds like this. Oh, that's, that's a bell. If he gets it. If right. he gets it, he wins a prize. If he doesn't get it, he has to pick something out of the challenge chest. What's going on? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Are you ready, Mark? All right. I think so. Take a deep breath. Here Take we go. You got breath. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. To answer 10 questions. Answer 10 questions. Oh, and I'm and, and picking something. No, I, don't pick anything okay. unless you lose. At the end. Oh, oh if I lose. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, okay here's I'm the first question. Yes. Get a sec. Wait. What? Got to get my clock. Get your clock. Here we okay, go. Speedy. Here Wish we me luck, Speedy. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Here we go. Okay. And. Under Mark. Here we go. Here we go. And sorry, my clock. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. Mark, do you prefer tea, coffee, or hot chocolate? Coffee these days. Who's your favorite comedian? Um, I like Norm Macdonald. What historical figure would you love to see in the 21st century come back to life? Oh, God. Historical. Uh, Jesus? <laughs> Good answer. Who's your favorite celebrity of all time? Um, Johnny Carson? Explain in extreme detail exactly how the Egyptians built the pyramids. Um, they just did. They took um, some <laughs> materials and they just... Um... Eh, wrong answer. If you could answer your future self one question, what would it be? If you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> uh, why? Um, why? Uh... Ring the bell. Pass, pass, pass. Can pass. you impersonate anyone famous? Can I impersonate anyone famous? No. If so, do it now. No, okay, good. Next 15 question. 15 seconds. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Um, yes, my favorite Monty Python fan. Question. Would you uh, rather maybe. make your internet browsing history for the last 12 months accessible to anyone for a year, or give up the internet for a year? Give up the internet for a year. <laughs> One it, second! Oh. Oh, oh! Did he make it? No. Oh! oh. oh pick what, a challenge did, out of the challenge chest, when Mark. When I said Jesus, did I get that? Was that, did you say any figure? Yeah, that, that was perfect. Okay. That was perfect. Okay. Good answer, Jesus good answer. Is a figure in pick history. a yes. challenge from the challenge chest. Okay, I can't wait to see it. I am not good at this pick? game. What are you Okay, do? it says, give a foot massage to one of our crew right now. Let's do this! Yes, yes. Let's get a foot up here, anybody. Massage. Oh, we'll do this. Foot right. back, foot or back. Here we Come go. On. Foot massage. Who wants a foot massage? Who got here? We got Tristan. this real quick. Come Who's on. Tristan? Come, Come on, on everybody. Leaving. Tristan, where you at, buddy? Where's Ed? Where's Come Ed? On. Anybody? Okay. They all say foot massage. Let's see if they all say foot massage. No, they're different. They're all different. Come on. massage? Yeah, let's go. Foot massage. Here we go. Tristan, come on up. Get it up here, pal. One foot. Tristan, everybody. Tristan. I will do both feet, Tristan. Come around. Tristan, let's get see the shoe feet. Off and get your foot up here. It's nice to see you. We, we, we only met uh, an hour or so ago. You know, you can give him a shoulder rub. Give him a shoulder rub. No, oh, come on. Please. All right, foot massage. Foot massage. I need to do the feet. <laughs> this is a good looking look foot. Look, he's just chill. Ah, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Enjoy that. You deserve it. Have you ever it. gotten a foot massage? You deserve it. You work this so hard. This is a first? Yes. How does it feel? Feels good. Come on, get me your other foot. Oh, no, that looks good. Is, it's ready. It's ready. Yeah. I think, I think Tamara, this might be a good time. That's a good time to wrap, to it wrap up. up the segment. I'm uh, Speedy. I'm Tamara. And that's the monkey news source for tonight. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>